Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today I'm in Orlando. I'm talking about the top 10 most popular Disney souvenirs, whether it's Disney World or Disneyland. And how much is this going to cost you if you go? Stay with us. So you're going to Disney, and you're wondering what kind of souvenirs are available. Well, let me tell you, there is a lot. And you wonder, how much is it going to cost when I go to buy? What should I buy? What cost range am I thinking about? We're going to show you the top 10 souvenirs and talk about some of the prices. Starting at number 10 is a Star Wars lightsaber. Now, if your family is really into Star Wars, they might want to do this. Now, this is an experience, and you can't have more than two people at a time unless you're registering and all getting lightsabers. To get one lightsaber, you can have two people in. You get a choice of a different kinds of lightsabers so that you can design your own. You can choose your color, you can choose a lot. And you go through a class like this and they will help you put it together. And it is quite the experience. If you wanna see the full video, check out my other videos, I do have it. You get pieces once you've choose what you want and then you get to put it together. It's a lot of fun, it takes maybe an hour. You can buy them individually if you would rather, or you can do this, which I recommend doing this. Now, this is about $250. It's not cheap, but it is awesome, and there's nothing better than having your own lightsaber. Now, if you prefer to make a droid, this is closer to $150. You can choose which pieces you would like for your droid. And you can choose the colors. You can choose a lot of different things, the sounds. It's very, very fun. Once you go through the assembly line and pick out what you want, they will give you some information and you can put your little droid together. You can have a BBA, all kinds. It's very fun. And once you put it together, they'll help you and they'll teach you how to use it. And you get to uh, play with it after. And you can actually use it there or you could take it home and have it run around the house. Very fun thing to do. And like I said, it's about $150. Uh, you might not want to get more than one at that price. Now, let's see what's next on our list at number nine is artwork. Artwork is fantastic in Disney. They have several different stores where you can buy some of the artwork. Now, it can range anywhere from $200 to $1,000. I started this Thomas Kincaid collection. I love my collection. I have about four or five pieces. I believe there's 10 or 12. But there's all different kinds of pieces you get, and they're going to be expensive if you choose art. Number eight is jewelry. Do you have a bunch of jewelry fanatics? Well, there's a big range of jewelry. And yes, this can range only maybe from $10 to, again, thousands of dollars, depending if you want pure gold, if you want necklaces, if you want Pandora, depending on the type of jewelry you like. But there's plenty of jewelry out there if that's what you're going to choose to be your souvenir. So let's see. What else is on this list boy there's a lot of places to shop in disney you can go to disney springs or you can go into of the course the stores at the theme parks it's up to you well jim shore is very popular there are several different kinds of figurines but jim shore perhaps is the most popular and a lot of his will range from a hundred dollars and up there's some stores outside of Disney that have them for cheaper. So if you're looking, you might want to go there. Also, eBay sells some, and those are definitely cheaper if you buy them there than in Disney. But they can get quite expensive, and some sell for hundreds, five, six, seven, eight. But you can get some outside, like I said, for cheaper. So be sure to shop if you choose to go with figurines. And there's a lot to choose from. I'm showing you all the Jim Shore, but let me tell you, there's a lot of other things as well in Disney. And there is a character warehouse in Orlando you might want to go to. They have items as well. So let's see what is next on our list. We are already up to number six. And number six on our list is popcorn buckets. They have popcorn all over the theme parks. 
and you can buy just popcorn or you can buy them these refillable buckets. It would be $2 to refill the buckets each time, but the buckets average around $25. Sometimes you get some for 18 and some will go up to 35 and 45. Some are very popular and they've become collectible. So you might want to look again on eBay, see if you can find some cheaper, look around, maybe you can get some in advance. But if you want to collect popcorn buckets, that's a big item in Disney and new ones are constantly coming out. I believe this one is for the 100th anniversary. Lots of good popcorn buckets. All right, so we're going to keep going and we are going to go to number five on our list. Boy, I love shopping Disney and I spend a lot of money because a lot of these collectibles I buy all the time. I am a pass holder and I am constantly in Disney World buying items. They get a lot of money from me, Disney, I'll tell you. So let's look at number five on our list. Number five are bags. Very, very popular to get a Disney bag, but one of the most popular Disney bags available are Lounge Fly and they have them for every season. They're backpacks. They're called mini backpacks is I guess what you do. These are some of mine. I have, oh, four anyway, and I love them. This one right here with him looking like Transylvania, like a little Frankenstein, he's my favorite. But there's so many and there is definitely something for everyone, whether they're your children like them and they're a girl or a boy, they have Star Wars, they have everything you could think of. There's sure to find one, and they range around $80. I think they've gone up recently to $89 or $90. If you want to spend more money, there are also Juni and Bork bags, and these can range up to $200. The ones I'm showing you here are in the Character Warehouse, and they are cheaper. I told you to look for that if you're in Orlando, but if you want to buy them in the stores and you don't mind spending a couple hundred bucks, maybe up to five, six hundred even, get them in the stores or in Disney Springs, there's one special store in Disney Springs that has a lot of Dooney and Bork and a lot of jewelry, high-end items. So it's always good, depending on your budget, what you want to look for. But I love Loungefly and Disney bags are very, very popular. So next on our list would be for the little ones, although bigger ones like them as well, plush. There is a lot of plush Disney items to choose from. And they can range anywhere from $10 to, oh gosh, hundreds as well, depending on what size you want and what you want. Uh, again, eBay, Character Warehouse, they're cheaper, but you can get them in Disney. And there's Gru, isn't he cute? There's all kinds of them, anything that you can possibly imagine. Now, one of the most popular items, of course, is clothes. That is number three on our list. Anything involving clothes, you want t-shirts, you want shoes, you want pajamas, you want sweatshirts, you want hats, you want items for Christmas, you want uh, items, you can also get items if you want, if you are making a Halloween costume because they have different Star Wars characters, maybe you want to be Princess Leia or somebody like that they have those everything you can possibly imagine they have clothes and i'm showing you some this is at the character warehouse as well which again is cheaper but they're out of season but you can look everywhere in disney if clothes is what you want now number two on our list is disney ears disney ears are extremely popular in disney now they can range from about 35 30 to 40 dollars maybe um I don't like to spend that much on ears, so I forced myself not to. But everybody, especially girls, seem to want to wear Disney ears. And boys can wear them too. There's all kinds of cool ones. And uh, they can be expensive, but I wouldn't, you know, most people probably just buy one for the trip and don't have to buy them again. But if you want to collect them, look at how many there are. There is a great variety, and the variety is constantly changing depending on when you go. Again, maybe $30. Now, uh, there are plenty of Christmas items, but that's not number one. The number one souvenir for me and for most people, I believe, at Disney or Disney World is going to be pins. There are Disney collectors all over that collect pins. 
you name it, there are pin collectors, there are pin shows. You can get them everywhere. Of course, if you get them at Disney, um, they're new. You want to get the new ones. And there are a lot of ones that are not real, so you have to be careful. And you can trade pins at Disney, so it's so much fun. You put them on a lanyard, you walk around, you trade with cast members or other people. Now, I'm showing a little bit of collection that is mine. I have books and books of pins. And, you know, some of these are may not be real. They may be the, what they call scrappers, which are imitations. But you just don't know what you're getting. I buy what I think is cute. I don't know all the details. But pins, they range from $10 to maybe $40, $50, depending on what you get. And that is probably the number one souvenir in all of Disney, whether it's Disney World or Disneyland, Disney Tokyo, wherever you are in Disney. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. This is Rockin' Robin. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and give us a big thumbs up. And watch all of our Disney videos. Thank you so much and have a magical day at Disney.